Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to read Elmer and Wilbur by David McKee. Remember, David McKee is an author, so he writes all the words to the book. Sometimes, when a book doesn't tell us the illustrator, it means that the author not only wrote the words, but also drew all the pictures. Elmer and Wilbur by David McKee. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, was waiting for his cousin Wilbur, who was coming to visit him. He's late, said Elmer. Perhaps he's lost. Let's go and look for him. What does Wilbur look like? asked an elephant. Wait and see, chuckled Elmer. But be careful. Wilbur likes to play tricks, especially with his voice. He's a ventriloquist. He can make his voice sound as if it's coming from a different place to where he is, from anywhere. That is fun, said an elephant as they started to search. It's like hide and seek. Suddenly they heard, Yo-ho, Elmer, I'm over here. And they rushed to where the voice came from. Looking for me? asked a rather surprised tiger. Sorry, said Elmer, we thought you were my cousin. Very funny, Elmer, said the tiger. Perhaps that's your cousin I can hear shouting. called the voice, help, I've fallen in the pond. He has, he has, I can see him, said an elephant. Silly, said Elmer, that's your own reflection. Keep looking, he's near, but not where his voice is. So reflection, when you look in the mirror, you see your own reflection. When you look in a pond or a pool and you see yourself there, you're looking at your own reflection. This elephant is looking at his reflection. But remember what Elmer said about Wilbur. He's a ventriloquist. So he can make his voice sound like it's coming from other places. Maybe he can even talk without moving his mouth. Wow. They all kept looking, and all the time they looked, the voice came from different places. It called cooey, here I am, or boo, to make them jump. It even came from down a rabbit hole. The rabbits popped out saying, that's not funny. That's not funny at all. That's very silly. After a lot of searching, an elephant said, we'll never find him, Elmer. Let's give in. Wilbur, called Elmer, we give in. You can come out now. I can't. I'm stuck up on a tree, Wilbur's voice said from above them. The elephants giggled. He's very clever, said one. If you don't come, said Elmer, we'll have to go home without you. I really am stuck up a tree, said Wilbur's voice. The elephants giggled again. Elmer, said an elephant, is Wilbur black and white? Yes. Why, said Elmer. I peeped, said an elephant. He really is stuck up a tree. Why did Elmer not believe him? Elmer didn't believe that Wilbur really was stuck up in a tree because Wilbur plays a lot of jokes. Sometimes if we play too many jokes, people won't believe us when we really say something. But Wilbur really is stuck up in a tree. They all looked and there was Wilbur up a tree. Wilbur! gasped Elmer. How did you get up there? Never mind how I got up. How do I get down? said Wilbur. I've no idea, said Elmer, but we're hungry, so we're going home for tea. At least we know where you are now. Goodbye, Wilbur. See you tomorrow. With that, Elmer started to lead the other elephants away. Oh, Elmer, called Wilbur. Don't leave me. I'm starving. Haha, <laughs> I was just teasing, laughed Elmer, turning back to Wilbur. If you walk along the branch, it will bend down with your weight and we can help you down. Wilbur walked slowly along the branch. The branch began to bend down, and when the elephants could reach, they pulled the branch the rest of the way and helped Wilbur off. Thanks, said Wilbur. 
Now, where's that tea you were talking about? Then laughing and joking together, they raced all the way home. That night, as they lay down to sleep, Elmer said, Good night, Wilbur. Good night, Moon. And a voice that seemed to come from the moon said, Good night, elephants. Sweet dreams. Elmer smiled and whispered, Wilbur, how did you get up that tree? But Wilbur was already asleep. The end. How are Elmer and Wilbur the same? Let's compare their characters. What do we know about Elmer? He's covered in squares. He doesn't look like the other elephants. That's true for Wilbur too. He's also covered in squares and doesn't look like the other elephants. That's how they are the same. They are similar, but they're different as well. How are Elmer and Wilbur different? What do we know about Elmer? Elmer is kind and helpful. He works hard to help other people and his squares are all colorful, patchwork. What do we know about Wilbur? Wilbur likes to joke around. He can throw his voice from far away and make it sound like he's someplace he isn't. And his squares are not colorful. They're all black and white, like a checkerboard. So although Elmer and Wilbur are similar, they are also different. We can compare characters in other books as well. All you have to do is think, what do you already know about that character? Thank you for reading with me today.